सिस्टमेटिक सैंपलिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ सेलेक्टिंग अ सैंपल फ्रॉम अ लार्जर पॉपुलेशन इन अ सिस्टमेटिक रेगुलर मैनर इट इनवॉल्व सेलेक्टिंग एवरी एनथ एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेशन वेयर एन इज डिटरमाइंड बाई डिवाइडिंग द पॉपुलेशन साइज बाय द डिजायर्ड सैंपल साइज which is known as sampling interval systematic sampling is a form of probability sampling and when carried out correctly it can produce a representative sample of the population so key steps and characteristics of the systematic sampling we should know first we should know about population begin by defining the population you want to study this could be a group of people items events or any other entities relevant to your research or survey then sample size determination determine the desired sample size for your study this is typically a fixed number or a fraction of the total population size so sampling interval we need to calculate calculate the sampling interval denoted as k by dividing the population size n by the sample size n the formula is k equal to sampling interval is equal to total population divided by sample size where k is the sampling interval capital n is the population size small n is the desired sample size for example if our population size is 500 and our same our sample size is 50 then we can calculate sampling interval like 500 which is the population and divided by sample size 50 so we can solve it 0 0 cancel and 5 1 5 1 so equal to 10 so we can say our sampling interval in that case is 10 so random starts one of the important point to start randomness and avoid bias randomly selected a uh, starting point within the population this starting point is referred to as the random start or random seed sample selection start at the random start point and selected every kth element kth means sampling interval it may be 5 10 according to your population and sample size from the population until you have reached the desired sample size advantage of systematic sampling representativeness when the population is well ordered systematic sampling can be can produce a representative sample similar to simple random sampling efficiency systematic sampling is often more efficient and less time consuming than simple random sampling especially when the population is large easy of implementation it is relatively easy to implement as it doesn't require the generation of random numbers for each selection and few disadvantages we need to consider like order dependence the effectiveness of systematic sampling depends on the order or arrangement of elements within the population if there is an any hidden pattern or periodic city in the population it can lead to bias sampling bias if the population is not well ordered or if there is a hidden pattern systematic sampling may produce biased results limited randomness while systematic random sampling begins with a random start it relies on a fixed sampling interval which can reduce the level of randomness compared to simple random sampling bias correction to mitigate potential bias it's important to perform a random start and carefully assess whether sampling interval is appropriate for the population so systematic 
sampling is commonly used in various fields, including market research, quality control, and surveys, or public health research, or, or hospitals data collections, especially when it is challenging to access a complete list of the population, and when simple random sampling is impractical due to its time and resource requirement. However, researchers should be cautious about potential biases and take steps to minimize them during the sampling process.